What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing another taste test for you. This is part two, but not really part two. You don't have to have seen part one for this to make sense, but it's the candy version of the Galactic Snack Pack box thing that we made from Facebook that Mark Zucker Facebook told me that I needed to have. And so I went on there and just picked out some random stuff and all together we spent like $150 to $170, somewhere in that realm, but yummy, yummy, good time. So today we're gonna to be doing the candy version and you let us know what you think of the snacks down in the comment section below. And if you live in the country that has these snacks. Let us know if you eat these on the regular basis or if you see them in the gas stations or convenience stores or supermarkets or wherever you shop and let us know what you think of those. Any comments, questions, or concerns, honey bosoms? No, I'm just excited to try some fun snacks. Yummy, yummy, good time! So, first item! All right, first item that we got here are Twix cookie doughs. You shouldn't have yeah. to cook these. I, I'm sure you're pretty no. shibby shibby good time. I'm sure it's like something similar to like the movie theater snacks where you go and they have that cookie dough flavor okay. nonsense. Yeah. But it's Twix. It kind of smells good, but it kind of smells like the protein powder. Oh yeah, interesting. So get you a couple. They also look kind of look like dog treats. <laughs> yeah, they do. So. Ding. Disgusting. Yeah, I don't like that. Disgusting. It's malt. It's like a malt, mm -hmm. a malt cookie dough. That's really weird. I don't like that. Zero out of 10. Yeah, no thank you. It's chalky, it's salty. The flavor is just so weird. I wonder if they're trying to go for the crunch of biting into a Twix. You know how it has yeah. that, that, that cookie nougat wafer situation? Yeah. I think that's what they were trying to go for by adding the crunchy. Mm -hmm. It ended up just making it grainy. Yeah, it was very gritty yeah. and nasty and mm -hmm. tastes just like protein powder. So if yeah. you could imagine protein bites, that's what that was. Yeah. I don't think there's hardly any protein and probably very, very little, if any. Yeah, the, uh, one Graham. So yeah, it tells you. Anyway, <laughs> disgusting. Zero out of 10. Don't buy. Not worth it. Don't waste your money. Save your money. Buy something yeah. else. So anyway, honey, do the honors. Next item. <sighs> next item! Shibby! Yeah! Next item, honey! All right. Our next item is these Snickers pods, which is kind of interesting. I saw those and I said, shibby, shibby, good time. They gotta be good. It says, creamy Snickers filling cradle in a crispy baked wafer topped off with delicious milk chocolate. So what it reminded me of when I bought it was I thought that maybe it would taste similar to a Ferrari Rocher. <laughs> But in Snickers form, minus the little nuts and shit on the outside of it. That looks very off-putting. Yeah, shit can that Yeah, one. that one's like... <clears throat> we, we need a good one. That one was all cattywampus. I'll show you how cattywampus. Well, they're all kind of cattywampus. Like, see how cattywampus? That, that's cattywampus. It looks like got oh. melted and like stuck back together. Yeah, it's ridiculous. You're just gonna have to all take right. it. All right, fine. Like... It smells good. It smells like mm -hmm. a Snicker cookie crisp. Mm -hmm. It does smell like cookie crisp, yeah. One, two, three, ding. ding. Not bad. Yeah, it's pretty good. I wouldn't say that it tastes like a Snickers. No. It tastes like melted Reese's sticks. Mm, okay, yeah. Seven and a half out of 10. Yeah. I love Reese's sticks. These taste just like that. I feel like we didn't have them in the freshest form. Yeah. Because they do look like they were melted before. Yeah. And, and if you look inside the bag, it's just like all melted nonsense. I mean, yeah. it had to get shipped and it's being shipped in the middle of like September of 2023. So mm. it's it still hot like, here. It does have that Ferrero Rocher texture where it's like really creamy on the inside. Mm -hmm. So crunchy outside, soft, semi yummy chocolate on the inside. It's a decent concept, but I feel like we just they just missed the mark here because it melted so fast. Yeah. But that could have been a shipping error. So I'm not gonna blame them on it. So seven and a half out of 10 yeah. would buy if I saw in the store and I was wanting Snicker Pods. Mm -hmm. They're good, I'm good. All right, you know what the deal is, honey. Next item! Next item! All right guys, the next item that we have here are Twix Caramel Centers, but center spelled like the Canadian and European way, so if it's not the American way, then it's wrong. Hopefully We're, these are better than the last Twix item we had. Why do European places and Canada spell it century and not center? I don't like, know. Like, that makes, no, that makes no sense. I don't know. If you are from Canada or a European country and you spell it center but the wrong way, like that, <laughs> like C-E-N-T-R-E-S, Yeah. why do you do that? Anyway. Anyway. Twix cookie centers. This is what they look like. Oh, uh, they're already gonna be bad. They're not soft. They could could have used the technology that they do for the Chips Ahoy soft ones, you know, the ones in the red pack. Mm -hmm. They could have done that and then yummy, yummy, good time. So, but A plus on the little caramel center that mm -hmm. they put there, century, if you will. <laughs> Ding. You gotta take two bites to get to the center. 
It literally tastes like nothing. Mm -hmm. There's nothing special about this. It's so bland and boring. Like there's no- Yeah, I even focused on the caramel center. Yeah, I got the caramel center and it was not. Like it literally tastes like bland chips of white cookies with like- No the, flavor, yeah. like literally no flavor. It's just the dough. It's just, yeah. It's like nobody put anything in any flavoring like, or anything. It's so- Hard. It doesn't even. Mm -hmm. hold on. I'm, I'm just gonna go right in for this little. Like, like, look at the the the, the pole. The tensile strength. It's not good. No, it's it tastes like a toy. Yeah, like it's not disgusting. It just doesn't taste like anything. It tastes like if you had kids and they made you a meal out of the plastic toys that they had in their <laughs> make believe kitchen. Yeah. And they said, "Here, mommy, eat a cookie." Mm -hmm. and you're like, "Oh, it's good." And it tastes like absolutely nothing. Yeah. That's, dude, zero out of ten. Yeah. I would they not didn't even those. try. There was a big missed opportunity. They could have had the mm -hmm. cookie soft. They could have literally had the caramel pull apart in the yummy way, and they didn't do that. Mm -hmm. Stick with chips the whole. Don't have Twix. Zero out of ten. The next item. Twix just needs to stay making Twix. Yeah, everything Nothing that else. they touch that's cookie related, the yeah. cookie dough, dog, <laughs> cookie cookies, dog. You stick just can't, to your like, Twix. Tr transfer that experience. Honey, let's cue it up. What we got? All right. Next item, okay. we have, <laughs> next item, we have red velvet Oreos, which I'm very excited about. I, These better be delicious. Oh yeah. I've been so disappointed by all the cookies. Like this needs to be good. I've been disappointed by everything from this company. Yeah. It's a little bit upsetting. So let me remind you guys that red velvet Oreos are usually a thing in like a regular Target or Walmart or Publix or whatever you do here in Florida or within the United States. But this one's very Asian inspired. It's a lot of like Asian Asian writing. The red velvet cookies that you get here by Oreo have red filling in the center with the black cookie. So red filling, black cookie. These are a slight red. reddish brown cookie with white. So let me tell you what I'm expecting and maybe you have the same expectation, okay. but I want the cookie to be red velvet mm -hmm. and the center to be cream cheese. Okay. And that will be the tits. These like do smell really good. Like oh. that smells like it's gonna taste really Dude. good. Dude. That yeah. dude, you better be good or else your ass <laughs> in the trash. Ding! Let's see what I'm doing. Yeah. I like it. I do too. It's very subtle. Yeah, because I think America is such a rich food place mm -hmm. that we try to overcompensate for everything, so that's what we're used to. Whereas, the, dude, these are good. 100% yeah. these are good. They're I give good. it a solid seven. Seven. Yeah, definitely a seven. It needs, like you said, it needs a stronger flavor. For at least the American palate, we like that strong flavor. Yeah, I mean, for but anywhere else, I'm sure you guys love this and, yeah. and, and fair. Because if I was, I don't want to be wrong, but if, if I was in China or something and I saw this, I was like, Dude, I know what that is. I would get it because it's something that I'm familiar with and that I know is good. Yeah. Some other things, kind of mediocre, but this is actually really decent. Very subtle though. The red velvet needs to calm down to let the cream cheese or the, the cream filling kind of like have center stage every once in a while. It just seemed like a backup dancer to like Britney Spears or something in the red velvet cake world. So seven out of 10 is what I rate this. Yeah. Starving on an island, would buy, would eat. But other than that, I'm not going out of my way to get it. Yeah, I agree. Next all right, guys, next item are these M&Ms that are caramel cold brew. Ooh. So they're not very exclusive to the world, I'd say, because I've seen the advertisement for them at our local Target. They are a little bit bigger than regular size M&Ms, maybe around, like a little bit smaller than peanut M&Ms or around in the same category, but anyway. But we've seen these for sale at Target. They've just been out of stock. So we see the little mm -hmm. sign or the end cap or whatever. Haven't been able to get our hands on them, but we did through this company, so should be, should be good time. Caramel cold brew. Okay. Uh, do they have pumpkin spice latte ones? I'm sure. Ding! Ding. That's, that's so nice. Yeah. Not a fan. Yeah. I mean, I do get the coffee flavor. Yeah. I get the caramel and coffee, so mm -hmm. Starbucks could buy these and say mm -hmm. caramel macchiato flavor, mm -hmm. and they'd run off the shelf. Yeah. They're not bad. Like, I would probably give them a five out of 10. Like, I wouldn't mind eating more, but it's like, I wouldn't choose to. Yeah. I'm going peanut M&Ms or regular M&Ms or even the um, hazelnut M&Ms mm -hmm. before I go to these. It's just very strong on the coffee. Yeah. With like, the, the coffee and the caramel don't work. Yeah. I would stick to one. Either just only do the caramel M&Ms or only do the coffee, but don't mix them. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's uh, a little bit mediocre. Yeah. Five out of ten is accurate. Starving on an island. If I needed chocolate and this is the only thing that was available, I would get it. But I'm not going out of my way to buy it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so five out of ten. Next item. Next mother. <laughs> item. 
All right, honey bosoms, what we got? Our next item is another pack of M&Ms, but these are honeycomb M&Ms, which I was really excited when I saw these because I was like, I love honeycomb. Like my favorite candy is the crunchies from Cadbury. So if, <laughs> if these taste anything like that, I will be so happy. These ones look a little big too. Um, so these are like about the same size as the caramel cold brew ones. Keep game. I want orange again. Okay. I don't know what it's supposed to taste like. Honeycomb. Does it taste like honeycomb to you? Mm -hmm. I'm not getting that. I taste the honeycomb. I'm getting stale M&M flavor. Well, honeycomb has that kind of texture. That's why I said that. Yeah. They're not amazing. I expected it to be more honey flavor. Mm -hmm. The M&M flavor is really overpowering. Like the chocolate is. And it sticks in your teeth almost like mm -hmm. a Butterfinger. Mm -hmm. Butterfinger M&Ms. That's, what, that's, that's mm -hmm. the only thing I can say that it tastes like. They're not bad, but they're not. Like I would probably give them like a five and a half. Like I wouldn't choose to eat them. Yeah. They do taste like, I guess stale M&M's is a good descriptor for how that tastes. Cause it like sticks in your teeth like a Butterfinger does. Mm -hmm. Butterfingers are all right. I'm not a big fan, but I'll eat them. These, I don't like. It's a little disappointing. Three out of 10, two out of 10, maybe a two, maybe a drunk two out of 10. <laughs> yeah, just kind of missed the mark on this. This could have been a lot better. Yeah, it's a it, good concept. It needed to be, instead of the hard candied shell, like the, the, mm -hmm. the color coating that's on the outside. So like the blue, the yellow, the orange, mm -hmm. et cetera. They should have done just like honeycomb with like a little pocket of honey in the center. So when you bite through the chocolate, mm -hmm. you bite through the crunchiness of the comb and then you get a little mm -hmm. burst of softness or sweetness, which would be the honey. And then it's like, oh, yummy, yummy, good time. And then it's not so difficult to eat like a Butterfinger. Yeah, the candy shell just takes over completely. Yeah, it's a little bit ridiculous. Mm -hmm. That's why I, a drunk two out of 10. Next item. All right, these next things that we're gonna test drive are Skittles gummies. So this is what they look like. Don't know what they're called. I forgot what I ordered, but <laughs> uh, anyway, we'll just bust this open and okay. get a little whiff. That actually smells like a thing of uh, Welch's fruit gummies. Okay, yeah, it does. If we can get some smell cam, but that's what they look like mm. on the inside. So if you guys would love to just take your phone or your computer screen or whatever and just put it up to your face and then just inhale deeply, you might be able to smell it. But I would totally 100,000 bajillion percent recommend just getting you a pack of Welch's and then close your eyes as I describe what these taste like. There's not even like one, okay. I was gonna say, is yeah. there like enough for us to have one of each flavor? Yeah, I'm gonna go pink, a little bit of red one, orange one, what I would call pina colada. I think there's like four. Two different? No, I think they're about the same. Okay. I think they're about the same. Oh, but these, the yellow, there's only one of these yellow, so we'll have to lady yeah. in the tramp that one, honey. For those of you watching at home, these are the colors that we have. I was gonna read you the flavors, but I can't because I don't speak that. Anyway, we'll just, we'll do our best to guess. I'm assuming there's gonna be a grapefruit, strawberry, peach, dragonberry, orange, and mango. So there's five, so I've overlisted one. Anyway, which one are you doing first? The dark pink. That one, all right, one, two, three. Ding, goldberry. Mm, that tastes like grapefruit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. Uh, it's not bad, but it kind of tastes like medicine. I get that. These are like bougie Welch's grape snacks for like rich people. Mm -hmm. Light pink. Light pink, one the pink. Strawberry. Yeah, no, peach. Strawberry. Okay, clear. Pineapple, or dragonberry. Mm, interesting. Not a fan of that one. Mm -mm. Oh. The dark one. This is gonna be mango. Mm -hmm. This looks mango. <laughs> Actually, it's orange. Okay, so the last one's mango. Mm, maybe, mm -hmm. unless that's not a mango. <laughs> Once again, for you guys watching along at home, this is our packaging. <laughs> We're having a deal, so I. We don't have a lot to work with. <laughs> yeah, I literally can only read the numbers. Yeah, I have no idea. I think they expired <laughs> January this year. Nice. I'm gonna throw these away. Yeah. Those were not good. Yeah. Stick with the Welches. Mm -hmm. Those are a little bit too bougie for my opinion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're just weird. Like they literally all taste like medicine. Yeah. A little bit rough. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Next item. All right. The next item is these <clears throat> freeze dried Skittles, which I'm actually really excited to try these because I've seen these pop up all over TikTok. Oh yeah. Okay. So it's not from the same people because I've seen that too. Yeah. There's this guy or whoever on TikTok that freeze dries like fruit gushers and stuff like that. I'm like, oh, I want to try that. Mm -hmm. And then he shows himself eating them. Fruit gushers are supposed to be like chewy and like gushy or gushy. Mm -hmm. And they're just like, oh, you know, dang, geez. Yeah, I'm really curious how this is gonna be. Oh, I'm getting the orange ones. The orange ones have gotta be superior. These are sour Skittles. Nice. And the reason why they look like this is because they've been freeze dried. Mm -hmm. So this is what the packaging looks like. This is what they look like. I'm doing an orange one, so ding. Okay. Ding! Hmm. Dude, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Those are good. That's crazy that it's that good. Mm -hmm. All right, will I buy these if I was in the mood for it? I'm not a big candy person, but it's good. I give it an eight out of 10. Mm -hmm. Definitely an eight out of 10. Eight out of 10, yummy. This is my favorite thing we've tried so far. Yeah, yeah, same. Mm -hmm. All right, next item! 
crab! All right, the next thing that we have here are these giant sour Skittles. They're like regular Skittles, but it says that they're giant. They have sour pineapple, sour raspberry, sour cherry, sour mandarin, and sour apple. I'm excited for the mandarin and the raspberry. I'm not a fan of the other ones. Like I don't like sour apple unless it's like a caramel apple. I mean, they are they are pretty big. Check this. Oh wow. Those look like, um, mm, what are they called? Smart, uh, sweethearts. Sweethearts, yeah. But yeah, no, they're decently large compared to like regular Skittles. I don't have any regular Skittles to compare and contrast, but anyway. I like to try an orange one as my baseline. You wanna finger blast that and get all up in there. That's the size of them, like compared to like my thumb or my pinky. I'm gonna go sour raspberry. Ding! It tastes like plastic. It's not sour. No. Mine tasted like a toy truck. Like it was melted down. It does have like a very plasticky flavor. Dude, what are they doing? I guess bigger isn't always better. No, not a fan. Dude, no. Zero out of ten. Yeah. They taste like candy that you get from an arcade. That's like stale as yeah, that has been sitting in this bag for like mm. months, if not years, and then yeah. like, all right, the shelf life is coming to an end. It's just not good. Yeah. Dude, these snacks actually suck. Yeah, we're not having luck with these. Yeah, exactly. the only thing that was good was the freeze-dried things yeah. that come in this sketchy, almost like, I don't even want to say what type of container that's supposed to look like, but anyway. Next time! Our next item is another flavor kind of Skittles, and it's Skittles dessert. Which sounds yummy. Yeah. Because when I was ordering them, I thought, huh, dessert Skittles, big Skittles, freeze-dried Skittles, they are bound to be yummy, but they haven't been. So hopefully, except for the freeze-dried ones. So hopefully, the dessert Skittles take the cake and they come in first place. So the flavors that there are is strawberry ice cream, choco orange cake, yummy, blueberry tart, cherry cheesecake, and lemon pie. So. Lemon pie is gonna be dog shit, and then the choco orange cake might be dog shit too. Because mm -hmm. chocolate and orange don't go together to me. Well, that's a very like British thing, and the way that they spelled flavor on here is F L A V O U R, so that is so, what makes me think that that's where they got that from. Flavor. Mm-hmm. Yikes. I don't even want to try the orange. I feel like it's gonna be weird and gross. Yeah, let me see what we got. Which one do you test drive? I want the red one. I was gonna test drive the lemon one because I like oh, lemon. That's a orange lot. though. Dump some out because I was having trouble seeing the colors. It looks like Easter in the bag. Mm -hmm. There's like this smorgasbord of nonsense right here. Yeah, I think this is supposed to be red. It smells like an old lady floral shop. <laughs> it's kind of mediocre. All right, pink one's cherry cheesecake. Mommy's got strawberry ice cream. Ding! Dog shit. Yeah. That tastes just like cherry medicine. The lemon's good. The strawberry ice cream's not bad. It has a plasticky flavor to it. So I feel like they could have just incorporated it into something else. Yeah. Cherry cheesecake medicine. What do you think of the lemon pie? It was good. I like the lemon. Oh, no way. Like a lemon pound cake situation? Kind of. Lemon pound cake's delicious. The blueberry tart's good. Okay, I can see your thing with the lemon. But the lemon is like, once you've had one lemon thing, you can pretty much suffice with other things. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't buy this for the lemon, nor would I buy it for the strawberry ice cream which is decent i'd throw the whole bag away in a second over this cherry cheesecake though yeah the orange is really strange yeah, it doesn't no. taste like chocolate thankfully but it's still really weird all right blueberry tart for me blueberry. very strong it's blueberry. not bad it's not bad but it's very yeah. strong blueberry plastic they're vegan fantastic <laughs> actually the blueberry tart is actually the best one yeah. now that i'm now it's dancing the around. blueberry and the lemon are my favorite anyway so have you had these if so put it in the comment section below let me know what you think and which one's your favorite blueberry tart definitely is good lemon pie strong second cherry cheesecake dog shit strawberry ice cream good can't really speak on the choco orange cake because i think it's gonna be like shit so next item all right guys so the next item is the sour patch kids Space Kids, and I have a little story about this. It's kind of pissed me off because I ordered these and I also ordered the Sour Patch Kids Sharks, but they nasty and instead of canceling the order for my sharks, they sent me two packs of these. I like sharks. Sharks are my favorite animal, if you know me. I was highly disappointed when they sent me two packs of Space Kids because ain't nobody asked for that. I asked for Sour Patch Sharks, and when I selected those options, they didn't say it was out of stock. And then when I got it, and the paper that I got said, out of stock. I was like, geez, MFN Louise. Yeah. So that's why we have Space Kids for you. I didn't pick that. They picked it for me. So we'll go ahead and shibby on and see if we can't test drive these for you guys. There's a multitude of flavors. 
Oh, wow. How fun. So we got strawberry and black currant. I know that's what this is. What is black currant? It's a English flavor. Black currant. It's like a type of berry. Interesting. Watermelon and lime, mm -hmm. pineapple and orange, and peach and cream. I know this is peach and cream, and that's the water. Oh, this is watermelon. And then this has got to be peach and cream? No, this I think is peach and cream. And, and then this, this is the lemon. Lemon. I didn't say lemon. There's not Pineapple lemon. and orange. That's what I mean. Pineapple and orange. Okay. Pineapple and orange, strawberry, black currant, peaches and cream, and watermelon. Ding! That's not bad. The pineapple's not bad. Oh, is it peaches and cream? I think so. Gross. Oh, the strawberry is good. Watermelon. Watermelon and lime. Ding! Uh, no. Oh, yeah, that's not good. All right, this is peaches and cream. Ding! That's not bad. It tastes kind of like a peach ring. Dog shit. They're not the best. All right, I don't know what's going on with these taste tests. Yeah. But it's absolutely disgusting. Yeah. Next time I get to pick the snacks. <laughs> okay. Would you not have picked these? I mean, they were fun looking for sure. The so. Twix cookies, I the dessert I skills. That. Yeah. I was doing my best. I know. It looked, I was working. <laughs> it did look really good, but it's just not like it doesn't translate for whatever reason. The Snickers pods, I thought it was gonna be biting into like maybe a crunchy exterior and then the like a Ferrara Rocher. Yeah. And then instead of the Nutella on the inside, it was gonna be yummy, yummy, good time Snickers, and there wasn't that. It was just dog shit. Yeah, we got three items left. <sighs> Next item. It's hard to be excited when everything tastes so bad. I know. So, Honey Bosoms has the Jolly Rancher Gummies Sours. So we'll see if those are any better than anything else of the nonsense that we've tried so far. And then hopefully we can give you guys some insight as to what's good and what's not. One of the flavors is Grape Raisin. That's gonna taste like mm -hmm. shit. The other <laughs> and flavor- And that just happens to probably be the first one you pulled out. Strawberry Fraise. That one. Raspberry. Smells Oh, good. it's just in two different languages. That's what it is. So it's just grape, raspberry, and strawberry. <laughs> Dang it. My bad. That's a raspberry. It tastes like medicine. Is the strawberry bad too? It's not that good. If it tastes like, I don't even want to try it. It all tastes like medicine. It's ridiculous. I'm getting upset. I'm about to go back to the McDonald's french fries. Yeah. From the previous video. <laughs> From the previous video. All right, last before the last one. Second to last. <laughs> Second to last. I don't even know what the hell this is. I don't either. Oh, I remember what I did. So in this, I asked for like a mystery thing and they would just threw some shit in there. Oh, so okay. I don't even know what the hell this is. Okay, it's some kind uh, of Mentos. Yeah, but it has, it looks like chocolate, but there's no, there's no English yeah, on here. It looks like a chocolate Mento, but I don't know. There's just some Korean guy on there that looks happy to be the spokesperson. I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, it's gonna be a hard candy. It's gonna be gross, I already know. So once you open up this pack, it's another pack. Oh my God. Because they don't want you to have it, but it is a Mentos of some sort. So I bet it's cola. I see cola. Oh, cola. Dude, these are gonna be so nasty. Oh no. It's gonna be so bad. I'm nervous. Who on earth does this on purpose? Mento. You want that one right here? Oh, I'll get you, I'll get you It doesn't matter. One. It's gonna taste like dog shit yeah. anyway. Ding, dog shit. It tastes like a hard candy version of the Haribo Cola gummies. And I hate those. Mm -hmm. Like, I hate cola flavored gummies of any sort. It's absolutely disgusting. It doesn't even look good being disgusting. Yeah. We are having the worst time ever with these. I it's know. not even good. It's not even close to being good. I'm so sad about yeah. how bad that is. Absolutely yeah. ridiculous. But uh, the show must go on in next item. All right, guys. Our final item are the cream savers, strawberry and cream. These are 100% good. And I know that because I thought they discontinued these years and years and years ago. This is like a staple candy from my childhood. I used to have these all the time, but not in this form. They used to be an individual yeah. packages that looked just like mm -hmm. this. And it was in like the big bags. And then you would just pull one out individually and open it yeah. and give me a good time. Like the Werther's. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. They actually, I thought they discontinued them like I said before, but there's a five below here in Pensacola that actually sells these. We don't have to test drive one, but I want to show you what they look like because I've been eating these like for the past couple weeks. It's a strawberry and cream situation. So if you guys have a five below, go in there right now and get you the strawberry cream savers, hard candies. They're delicious. They're nine out of 10. You can't go wrong unless you just don't like strawberry and cream. If you are in the realm of like in your 26s to 30 years of age, like I am, tell 
me what you think of these, and if you've had these, let me know how yummy. I think they're a nine out of 10. So if anybody wants to back me up in the comment section, please do so. Smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And yummy, yummy, good time for the cream savers. Everything else is dog shit, and I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it. Yeah. Since we don't need to try these, we're just gonna leave you guys with that. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you love the video, smash the thumbs up button. If you hated all the snacks just like we did, smash the thumbs up button anyway, and then we'll see you in the next video. And then if there's a snack box or any sort of situation of snackage that you would like for us to test drive, put it down in the comment section below. And if we can find it or get our paws on it, we will definitely order it and then do a taste test for you. So I love you guys a lot. Have a safe and fantastic day, week, month, year, and happy everything. Love you a lot, bye. Love you a lot, bye. Kiss me, woman. I love her too much. Ooh.